it's like 6 a.m. I woke up at 5 in order to pack up. I got the fire going. <coughs> Literally, metaphorically, restarted the fire with the coals from last night. But the goal is Clingman's Dome for sunrise. It's still very dark. I'm gonna readjust my headlamp so I can see the trail and just make my way there. Sunrise is 7.30. Got an hour, 20 minutes to get there. Let's go. Night hiking, basically. It's very dark, as you can see. Turn the headlight off, no light. Okay, for real now, I'm gonna focus, try and get there for the sunrise. See you there. I'm uh, two miles away and it's only like 6.30. I do like almost three miles an hour. So if my calculations are correct, I will actually be there as the sun rises. Oh, it feels so good to do something that I don't like doing. <laughs> Getting up early in the freezing cold. There it is. I'm here. The dome. Oh, I'm not the only one here. cold. Well, about 22 minutes. <laughs> oh my, Lanta. Holy moly. Most beautiful sunrise I've ever seen. Right though, it's hard. I, I I'm still here, so. <laughs> Guys, I'm so cold, but it's so beautiful. I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> I'm still here. I started to run down the ramp, but man, I just can't get enough of that sun. Okay, well, they did it. Oh, sunrise at Klingman's in March is no joke. Oh. I sacrificed for that. I don't think I've ever been this cold in my life, you guys. That wind was blowing like almost I was afraid it was going to blow me off of that. Oh, oh. I need to get down and get warm. Mount Collin shelter is like four miles. I'm going to try and go to Newhound Gap ASAP. Oh my goodness. It is so gorgeous in here though, in these woods, look. It's still sunrise. So pretty. Oh. 
very cold but very worth it I've never felt more alive honestly actually deserves to be called awesome, awe-inspiring, I am just in awe, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain and cold, but oh, I can't feel my fingers, but it's, it's worth it, every bit was worth it. After that experience, it's just magical. It's got to be really careful because every step is just ice. Look at that shot, though. Oh, this whole trail is just frozen solid. Excuse my sniffles, it is just... I mean, look at this trail. Frozen solid. I don't even know if I can walk here. I'm afraid I'm gonna slip on my butt. Gotta be real careful. Totally worth the early, early warning. Oh man, I'm so glad I did this. I'm so glad I'm through hiking. I'm so grateful to all of the support that I have. We're going back home and everyone watching. I'm so grateful for planet Earth and all the forces that shape the world. People wonder, you know, why are you doing this? Why are you through hiking? Some people do it for, you know, to conquer the trail. Or, oh, do most miles in the fastest time. Da, 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 da. For me, it's just very simple. I just, I just want to see the world. Why else are we here? <laughs> I mean, 
obviously instinctually biologically we're here to procreate but for me I I don't really see that as my driver focus um, try to ascend beyond the primal rights primal drives and just see the world and just appreciate the beauty that's why I'm doing this it's not to conquer it's not to prove anything to anybody it's just to see it's out there just to live fully like I said what else are we here to do I don't want to just live my whole life going from one box to another and looking at boxes for thousands of years human beings lived in nature worth everything circular we used to build our huts in a circle we could build our fires circular rings cycle of life and death is circular. The cycle of water is circular. Now modern humans, we live in boxes. We wake up when a box next to us goes off, tells, telling us to wake up. We get out of our house box, go into our box on wheels to go to another box to sit inside of a box within, stare at a box within that box. It's just like, I want to step out of the box and see this kind of stuff. You know? So, break out of the box, guys. This is, that is not the way humanity has lived for thousands of years. And I'm not saying that this way, what I'm doing, is necessarily the way that we have, but it's just one step closer, it's a, it's a way of seeing the world from a, a different perspective. Granted, I have technology and, you know, resupply boxes. I'm not fully out of the box. I'm not saying I am, but just commentary on why I'm doing this, what inspired me. And those words are not, I mean, those are my words, it's in my own way of saying it, but that concept of the boxes and circles in nature actually comes from a book that I really like. It's called The Last American Man by Eustace Conway, or it's the story of Eustace Conway. It's a good read, anybody out there listening was looking for a good book. Okay. I think I'm gonna put the camera away and I gotta get my hands in my pockets because I mean look at this I don't know if you can see but I don't think I have very much blood flow going on on my fingertips right now so I'm gonna put the camera down maybe I'll uh, start a new video and put it in my backpack holster. I'll do that because this is so pretty. Okay.
Nitro Magic. <laughs> That's nuts. This is. This is. What are your guys? Soulmates. Soulmates. At uh, Newfound Gap, they're hooking it up with all the goodies. Best trail magic ever. Seriously. Thank you, guys. <laughs>